Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I am starting a new focus for myself, which is to share with you, hopefully on a weekly basis, the makeup I wore kind of on, a, on the daily. I'm trying to switch out the products I use weekly, more or less, to try to re-familiarize myself with everything I have. And so I wanted to do a quick, very quick, get ready with me, showing you the products that I've been using. I have some opinions about them. And yeah, just checking in. I, so I have moisturized my face. I have like no time to get out of the house, which is sort of like my daily MO. I'm someone who doesn't leave a lot of time for getting ready. Uh, to go to work or anything. So I'm gonna start with the Sunshine Skin Tint. And I know this looks really light, but actually it isn't as light as it seems. It's a very light, uh, lightweight gel formula. I wear mine in the shade Light. And this was and has been a favorite product of mine for a while. What I love about it, it, is, it has a little bit of a peachy base that helps cancel out some discoloration, but it does not provide a ton of coverage which on a daily basis is exactly the kind of coverage I want. I want my skin to look really natural and this I really love. Now, what I didn't remember about it too much and I realized especially this week was I should powder on top of this because this is almost a product that I prefer to wear in the summertime when I like to stay dewy, but it's a little bit too dewy and tacky for me right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. Halo Translucent Powder in light. I love this stuff. It is really fantastic. It's super lightweight and it does a great job at setting down this product without adding too much coverage or changing how pretty the finish is. It just sort of blurs everything away a little bit. Um, I have not found that you can go overboard with this product. As I continue to use this more and more, I realize this really is a favorite powder of mine because I trust it. I trust it completely. I trust it to do its job. I trust it to not make me look cakey. Another product that I have been using all week and loving is this Sephora cheek color in the shade Fascinating. I picked this one up when I was doing a return at Sephora. I mean, I really should just like mail in my returns because every time I do a Sephora return, I end up buying more products than I'm returning. But it's this very, very bright coral. And I've always been so attracted to this line, this packaging, and this blush is beautiful. It looks super charged, intimidating in the package, but I just love how it blends out. It brings so much joy, life onto the cheeks. And I don't know if, if all of the shades are like this. I think this is a phenomenal product. I love the packaging too. You can very clearly see the color it is. And I have found that the blush wears all day, which is everything. And I just love how fresh and vibrant and it just kind of brings my, brings my complexion to life. I really, really like that. I haven't been using bronzer this week. Not sure why. Uh, a lip product I did purchase and it came to me is another shade of the fantastic lipsticks from LH Cosmetics in Kiss of Life. I saw this was released, it's sort of a toasted color. I'm gonna put it on now. I love this formula. It's like a gel balm, but it has, it has some thickness to it. So it's quite I don't know, it just sort of stays put, which I appreciate. Let me do my eyebrows. I'm, I've been using the ColourPop Boss Gel. So that's it for brows. I mean, when I say it's quick makeup, it is quick makeup. One thing I wanna to alter today is how I've been applying my eyeshadow. 
I've been using one of the Eyes to Mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury, but I haven't been applying a primer. So I'm going to try a primer because I have not had success in keeping this product on my eyelids all day long. And that sort of defeats the purpose of an easy product. So today I'm going to try to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue, which is pretty potent because the Eyes to Mesmerize is an expensive product. And if it's migrating by like hour three, yeah, that's a problem. It shouldn't be migrating, but I do have particularly oily eyelids. And so maybe I should have known better, but the color I've been wearing is chocolate bronze. I just like the effect of it. And I just use my finger and kind of pat it in. And then I will take just a fluffy brush and blend around the edges really lightly. And it's, you know, kind of a ho-hum color. It has a bit of a sheen, but I really like the effect on my eyes for just a day look. I'm just building it up slightly around my lash line for a little bit more depth. Another product that I have been using all week, and I don't know, I can't make heads or tails of it. I thought I loved it, but I don't know that it's been performing as well as it has been. And that's the Rare Beauty Mascara. I'm just going to quickly put it on. So I love how it goes on, but I have found little flakes by the end of the day. So I'm going to pay close attention today because this is going to be the last time I'm sort of wearing this makeup before I switch it out next week for all of next week's <laughs> work days. All right, so that's that. And this is basically my daily look, what I've been playing around with. I do put some uh, face spray. I've been using my Caudalie Elixir, which I love. This is more of a skincare step than it is about a setting makeup or anything. But I love the way this looks. It's so refreshing. I've been really happy with my makeup overall but i think i'm going to be a bit critical tonight because it's sort of like the last day of me using all of these products before i switch them out and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check in when i get back home i'm about to go to my book club and it, i will check back in and let you know how all of this worked hello i am back with my check-in i just got home I am so hot. You think that it's probably minus two degrees outside with the way my building is pumping in heat. So I am sweating. I need to take my sweater off. But I just got back from my book club, which I love seeing my book club ladies. And um, I wanted to assess how this makeup turned out it's been about seven hours I think this is a good mark marking point for me because I would normally just like get in my PJs now want to wash my face off do some skincare and so let's take a look to see how it's all worked I can already tell I'm very very upset with the eyes to mesmerize I knew this product wasn't working for me I think I bought into the idea of the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize. I just love the texture. I love the colors. I have this color along with also Oyster Pearl, which I love the tone of. It's kind of a, a taupey, browny color. It's really beautiful. The problem is on my eyelids, even with primer, and today I really amped the primer up i did a glitter glue which really should help the product adhere and look i mean it did not adhere at all it's disgusting it settled into the line the color is like totally gone i did not wipe my eyes i wasn't like sweating profusely when i was in my book club so these are just not for me i think that the danessa myricks uh, paints like the foil paints are so much better at adhering also I much prefer like the Smashbox paints and the about face paints as well I find like those are better and even if they do crease they don't crease as badly as this I mean it really not only creased but migrated into my deep crease and like bunched up there so I couldn't even tap this out to create a nice effect again. Whereas those, if they crease, 
it's ever so slightly and I can easily tap it out and create a nice look. So yeah, eyes to mesmerize are going. And this is the idea of doing this kind of makeup by the week is really analyzing all this stuff. Uh, I am like a bit sweaty and everything. So, you know, my foundation, I didn't expect it to like stay perfect, but it looks really good. Like my complexion still looks really healthy, really glowy, really natural. Uh, the blush is still there and I love that blush. So I would absolutely recommend this for a blush. And um, my lipstick, it didn't last through food and stuff. I know that about that lipstick. It's still a fantastic formula and I love it. Ha, <laughs> fantastic formula. It's literally called fantastic. Um, and I just really right now quickly threw on the Ilamasca Hydra Lips, which I adore in mocktail. Just they're nice and cushiony and a little uh, more lip balm like. So um, I just I just threw it on right now. And um, the the mascara, you know, I'm struggling with this one a bit. For the most part, it's still on, but I did see there's a couple of black little flakes here and there. So it's not holding up the way it used to. Now, this has been around for a while, so I'm thinking I should just declutter this and I have a fresh one. So maybe I'll just be a little more mindful of the fresh one and it does it perform that way because I don't remember this performing this way and I just think maybe it's dried out too much and it's kind of causing this. So that is my roundup. I think that's all the products I used. Um, and so, yeah, I think that my main takeaway is understanding that the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize is not for me and keeping an eye open on the Rare Beauty mascara again like two very kind of hyped products and just because something is really hyped doesn't mean it's necessarily for you i hope you enjoyed this kind of format of like checking in honestly <laughs> with products i've used all throughout the week and kind of getting a hodgepodge of opinions um i'm hoping to do more of that just because i feel like you get a really good perspective on a product and on my actual feelings even i get a better perspective on my own feelings because sometimes I'm confused. So anyhow, um, I hope everyone is doing really, really well and we'll talk soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.